Hello there everybody, this is NDM here, welcoming you back to another episode of Let's Play Turok 2 Seeds of Evil. Okay, so in the last episode we um, found the portal switch to the Oblivion Gate, and in this episode we're going to make a start on it. So let's get on, let's get on with it. Let's get on with this cheers. Okay, right, so tech bow at the ready. Alright, this is what I mean by you have to snipe. You can just take these guys out without even alarming them. You can just stand here and do this. Well, don't do that. Don't strafe, man. Can't alert any more sentinels or flesh eaters, whatever. Because if you move up any further than where you're standing right now, they'll all start coming out from these cages here. Like, these doors will start opening and then more of them will come out, so make sure you don't go too far into the room. Alright, got them both. And you have to press these switches on both sides. Yeah, this one might take a while to do. Because there's going to be a lot of enemies coming out now. Alright, hopefully the, the lag can get pretty intense here though, so that's like the, the only throw off point. Hmm, actually no, I can take this guy out from here too. Okay then, that makes things easier. Because he's just standing there. Okay, never mind, he just rolled. So obviously he's seen me or something. He's trying to avoid me. Stop. Hold still, man. Got my bow at the ready, I think. Well, I hit his leg. Is that headshot? Close enough. Um, wait for him to go to the other side again. Okay, that's definitely a headshot. There we go. <laughs> nice. Oh, dude. <laughs> Blood everywhere, man. <clears throat> right, so there is a Lord Flesh Eater in there, so what I'm going to do... Um, before we go in there and take... It's basically like the boss of the area, more or less. The axe is like the boss. Battle. Because it's the strongest um, type of flesh eater we've come across so far in the game. And is the strongest type of flesh eater that you fight in the Oblivion portals. They are heavily armored and they also have really powerful attacks. That's like the only bad thing about them. <coughs> but that's more than more than enough to, you know, make us wary and cautious. So I'm going to go in here with full precautions. Maybe we might not struggle. Oh, what? <laughs> I got an instant headshot almost. I had to hit him twice though. Alright, make sure you don't get bumped in the lava here. Okay, well that wasn't actually as bad as I thought. Um, the only thing that I need to do now is just get some health back and then some ammunition. And then we're good to go, I guess. How much pistol ammo do I have, actually? I know I'm pretty low on tech, but ammo as well. Got five tech arrows just there. Um, also some shotgun shells around here, which I'm going to pick up. Well, some more health here. You can sometimes get a full health in some of these as well, but it's like a really rare chance that one of those will respawn. But you don't get ultra health, unfortunately. Ultra health is like non-existent in respawning um, points. Because they're special items, or special healing upgrades. Mm. 
Alright, so that's full explosive shells. Is that a blue one? Because I could do with a extra 10 units of health. No. That's a blue one over there, though. <laughs> I'll pick this one up, I'll give this up to 91, and then I guess I can just skid out all the fuck on out of here. <clears throat> oh, well, never mind, I'll get this one too then. If that was a silver one, I would have just left, but... And here's our second nuke weapon part. Uh, that one wasn't so bad, I guess. I was kind of worrying a bit too much about the Lord Flesh Eaters, but I managed to kill them both pretty quickly and efficiently. Okay, guys, so I'm going to end off the episode here and continue on in the next episode. So in the next episode, let's play two or two seas of evil. We shall actually be progressing on further with level two. So until then, this is NDM saying thanks for watching. Take over a few minutes video, and goodbye.